part two of my March 2022 Senegal and the Gambia exploration. Listen, let me share this before we get into the Gori Island experience. Many people ask me all the time, where do you stay? Where do you sleep? Are there hotels? Hey, listen, there are hotels, they're bed and breakfast. We stayed in five different locations in Senegal and then we went to the Gambia. How did I find those places? I went on TripAdvisor, I searched for hotels, I read reviews. You can also go to booking.com or hotels.com. Those are different sites that will help you find locations. And I always suggest to people, once you find a place that you want to stay or you're interested in, don't forget to go back to TripAdvisor, look up that place, and then read the reviews. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. -na 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 -na. Oh, this is our room in the Gambia at the African Princess. We got a walkout swimming pool. Ooh, nice, nice. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all, we good. And I'm just out here chilling on my patio. Living the life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden, golden, golden. Now, imagine taking a ferry to visit an island that from the 15th to the 19th century was the largest human exploitation center on the African coast. Over 25 million Africans were traded and taken to the Americas or islands for free labor and over 400 years of human torture. On the island, there are over 1,600 people currently living there with one primary school, restaurants, and a women's museum that considers the role of women in West African society. On December 7, 2021, the president of Senegal and the president of South Africa inaugurated the Freedom and Dignity Square. We walked the narrow colonial created streets that were once occupied by the Portuguese, the Dutch, English and French to shortly arriving at the door of no return. Inside the water. Oh, and they take the rest of us. Yes. <laughs> and they jump in the water with a bowl of 10 kg. If you have this heavy bowl, if you jump, you sink. Mm. And you sink, you sink with the next seven yeah. Yeah. So they just the door of no return. Voila, you see. We're walking. It's like the population. Even after many visits to the Ghana dungeons, my sister and I still felt the presence of terror and the stench of pain from those that endured savagery behavior. I returned, we returned, for all that could not return. We returned with grateful hearts and pure gratitude to God. The door is open for all of us to return. On a lighter note, get the Yasa on the island because it is mouth-watering. Cannot wait to share with you where we stayed in St. Louis, Senegal, or St. Louis, Senegal, as they call it. This is our chef who is grinding nuts to go with some of our breakfast items. I am so excited about where we stayed. I even tried the bulbo tree fruit. Take a look at this. Okay, I'm trying it. The bulbo nuts. Mm. It's good. Listen, we sat at the same table, Anthony Bourdain, 
from Parts Unknown set at when he went to St. Louis, Senegal. I called and contacted the owner, asked for the Anthony Bodine experience. She provided us with the same chef, the same menu, the, the gentleman pouring our wine, sat at the table and had conversation and, and told us about the history and the culture of Senegal and St. Louis, just like he did on Parts Unknown. I'm telling you, this was the highlight of my trip because I'm a lover of Anthony Bodang. Although he's not with us any longer, I still loved him. He exposed me to so many places. So then now on our way back, we're gonna take the bridge over there. Go the bridge. Okay. Yes, we are in a horse and carriage going across a bridge with cars. Yes, we bird watched in a tiny boat, man-made boat, which was cool, but it was a ton of folks on this boat. So I was exploring Senegal, buses, planes, trains, and automobiles, hey! <laughs> I met some cool people in Senegal. Take a look at this interview I had with a fourth generation artist. I am here in Senegal with, the, with an artist. Can you tell us your name? Basiru Fall, my name. Um, tell I, us about this. Can you just tell me? Yeah, it's it's uh, one of my sculpture. It's from bike and motorcycle. Yeah. It's from bike and, and motor motorcycle. Yeah, I recycle bike and motorcycle, and uh, after I give a second life. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> How did you start doing this? Yeah, with my dad, I learned to my dad for to do everything. Your yeah. Dad? Yeah, my dad was a repairman, and my grandfather too, and my older grandfather too. And me too. And after I, via my dad, I start doing his bike and motorcycle or sculpture. And I, after my school, I come back to work my dad because I love what he, he do. And I said, I'm gonna do like my dad for yeah, for to, for to take my dad heritage. So yeah. wow, so three generations: yeah. your dad, your granddad, and his dad. Yes. That's wow, the shop yes. is awesome. Tell us about your Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram is African bike car. Yeah, we post everything who we make all day with trash from bike. This is how you recycle other ones. What? It's <laughs> amazing, right? So. This is the beautiful mosque in Tuba, Senegal. So to get to the Gambia, we drove, we stayed overnight in one place, and then we loaded our van inside of the van on the ferry. As you can see us driving onto the ferry to get to the other side to the Gambia. How cool. How cool. I experienced, I explored, we explored. So so in the Gambia, we did visit the crocodile pool, which was a cool experience. But as you can see in the video, I was a nervous wreck. We did go to the museum, the National Museum. And then there's also a music museum, a museum that talks about how music influenced every aspect of the Gambian and Senegal culture, which was a cool um, experience. The crocodile pool was a sight to see. Hey, this was the coolest though. You heard of Kenta Kente? Kuta Kente? Oh, Toby. I know you heard of Toby. Well, we went to Kenta Kente's, Kunta Kente's Island. Ooh, that's a mouthful. We went to visit the island, which is in the Gambia, uh, based on Alex Haley's roots, which you know, those were his family members. Well, we went to visit the place in which he was housed before he was brought to America, which you see in the video. Um, we went to the museum there. We had lunch on the Kuta Kente's family island. It was really a great experience. Uh, one that was uh, just history, just a wealth of history resides in Senegal, uh, in the Gambia, on the continent, period. This the beauty, the history, the the people, everything was great. Oh, and then the Pink Lake, the coolest experience to go and actually see the Pink Lake and to understand that it's about the wind, the sun, and the salt um, that gives it color. We just had a blast. I tell you what, if you haven't been, you missing out. Look at the beautiful pictures and the scenery. Oh, I think we were in 
uh, curse alone at that point. The beauty of the scenery, the water, the, the temperature was just amazing. God's hand was all over this experience for me and my family, right? My sister and I, and the food, oh my God, delectable, delicious, yummy for my tummy, yummy for my tummy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget, it's all about exploration. It's all about being a black explorer. You know, I hope that each of you are exploring near places near and afar, but safely, but especially exploring new ways of relating to others. Be blessed.